Happy birthday, Ronnie Estrella. How you doing, honey? The road? In practice, it's the key someone wants to be India and the United States of America co chair this initiative, and now, as the co chair, I invite the President of the United States for his remarks. Thank you, all my colleagues. This is, uh, someone once said, a similar domestic action. It was positive. This is a big deal. This is a real big deal. And I want to thank you, Mr. Prime Minister. One Earth, one family, one future. That's the focus of this uh, G20 summit. And uh, in many ways, it's also the focus of this partnership that we're going to be talking about today. Building sustainable, resilient infrastructure, making quality infrastructure investments, and uh, creating a better future. A future for greater, that presents greater opportunity, dignity, and prosperity for everyone. Last year, we came together as one to commit to this vision. And uh, this afternoon, I want to highlight the key ways in which the United States and our partners are working to make this a reality. Economic card. You hear that phrase more than once, I expect, over the next decade. Economic corridors. As you work to address infrastructure gaps across low and middle income countries, we need to maximize the impact of our investments. That's why a few months ago I announced that the United States will work with our partners to invest in economic corridors. In practice, it means we're focusing on regional infrastructure projects that deliver results across multiple countries and in multiple sectors. And today I'm proud to announce that we've finalized the historic agreement for a new uh, India, Middle East, Europe economic corridor. As, uh, as a key part of this corridor, we're going to invest in ships and rail that extends the India, extends from India all the way to Europe, connected by the UAE, Saudi Arabia, Jordan, and Israel. Bridging ports across two continents, unlocking endless opportunities, including making it far easier to trade, export clean energy, expand access to reliable clean electricity, lay cables that will connect communities and secure a stable internet, contributing to a more stable, more prosperous, and integrated Middle East. And I want to thank the sponsors. And I particularly want to thank Prime Minister Modi and the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia, Mohammed bin Salman, so, excuse me, Mohammed bin Salman, and uh, President von der Leyen and the European Commission. And since it's, uh, he's not speaking today, uh, I wanted to, right, he is speaking today. I have no idea he's speaking anyway. But I'm, I'm going to stop there. In Saudi the Sub-Saharan Africa, we're working in a private-public partnership as well to invest in a trans-African card. That includes uh, a new partner, the European Union. President von der Leyen, thank you for making this very possible. Together, as part of this card, we're going to invest in a new rail line that will extend from the western port in Angola to the uh, DRC, to, to Zambia, and ultimately the Indian Ocean. It's a project that's about uh, uh, far from just laying tracks. It's about creating jobs increasing trade, strengthening the supply chain, boosting connectivity, laying foundations that will strengthen commerce and food security for people across multiple countries. This is a game-changing regional investment, and the, both of these are huge, huge steps forward. But they're far from the only one. 
will continue to make big investments in infrastructure around the world. That includes the solar energy site and instrument manufacturing facility and electricity project right here in India. We're continuing to develop economic corridors across Africa, Asia, and America. And together with our partners, we're working to mobilize the trillions of investment needed to close infrastructure gaps around the world, including the formation of a new investor forum that the United States will host in a couple weeks. Let me close with this. The world stands at an inflection point in history, a point where decisions we make today are going to affect the course of our future, our future, all of our futures for decades to come. A point where our investments are more critical than ever. So together, let's continue to work as one to seize this moment in history and max maximize our collective investments. To find new partners, to unlock new capital. Because when we invest in low and middle income countries, all countries benefit. When we invest in emerging economies, all economies benefit. And when we invest in the future of people anywhere, people everywhere benefit. So I want to thank you again for being here. I look forward to working with all of you. And I'm going to turn it back to the Prime Minister. Thank you. Thank you, Excellency. We now invite the Crown Prince and the Prime Minister of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia for this march. يسعدنا جميعا اليوم يسعدنا اليوم نجتمع في هذا البلد الصديق لتوقيع مذكرة تفاهم بشأن مشروع دمار اقتصادي بين الهند والشرق الأوسط وأوروبا وذلك تتويجا لما عملنا عليه سويا خلال الأشهر الماضية لبرورة الأسس التي بنيت عليه هذه المذكرة بما يحقق مصالح الشركاء لدولنا من خلال تعزيز الرابط الاقتصادي وما ينعكس إيجابا على شركائنا في الدول الأخرى والاقتصاد العالمي بصورة عامة سيسهل هذا المشروع تطوير تأهيل البنى التحتية تشمل سلك حديدية وربط الموانئ وزيادة ضرور السلع والخدمات وتعزيز التبادل التجاري بين الأطراف المعنية ومد خطوط الأنابيب التصدير والاستيراد الكهرباء والهيدروجين لتعزيز أمن البلد الطاقة العالمي بالإضافة إلى كابلات لنقل البيانات من خلال شبكة عابرة الحدود ذات كفاءة وفوقية عالية كما تدعم هذه المذكرة بهو تطوير الطاقة النظيفة وسيساهم تنفيذها في توليد فرص عمل جديدة ونوعية ومكاسب طويلة الأمد على امتداد الممرات العبور لجميع الأطراف الحضور الكرام من تحقيق ما اتفقنا عليه في هذه المذكرة يطلب الاستمرار في الجهود التي بذلناها والبدء الفوري نقوي الريات اللازمة لتنفيذها وفق الطار الزمني الذي سيتم الاتفاق عليه أن يتم الاتفاق عليه in conclusion, I'd like to commend the PGII launched by President Biden with the participation of Saudi Arabia and $20 billion. We look forward to the integration of the initiative and the Economic Corridor project, which is announced in this meeting. I would like to thank those who worked with us to reach this founding step to establish this important Economic Corridor. This, my best regard to you all. Thank you, Your Highness. May I now invite the President of the European Commission for her remarks, please. Your Highnesses, Excellencies, it's been two years since we launched PGII, a joint vision by the world's leading economies to invest in the infrastructure that low- and middle-income countries need. And two years on, more large-scale projects are seeing the light, and we are presenting two of them today. First, the India-Middle East-Europe Economic Corridor. This is nothing but historic. It will be the most direct connection to date between India, the Arabian Gulf, and Europe, with a rail link that will make trade between India and Europe 40% faster, with an electricity cable and a clean hydrogen pipeline to foster clean energy trade between Asia, the Middle East and Europe, with a high-speed data cable to link some of the most innovative digital ecosystems in the world and create business opportunities all along the way. These are state-of-the-art connections for the world of tomorrow, faster, shorter, cleaner. 
This corridor is much more than just a railway or a cable. It is a green and digital bridge across continents and civilizations. And this is also the spirit of the second project we announced today, the Trans-African Corridor, which will connect the port of Lobito in Angola with the Katanga province in DRC and the Copper Belt in Zambia. Our goal is not only to connect a landlocked region to the sea, our partnership will also invest in local value chains, in clean energy, and in skills for the local workforce. This is the spirit of PGII. It is a whole new approach to large infrastructure investment. It is about shared prosperity. It is about real benefits for all partners. Thank you. Thank you, Excellency. May I now invite the President of France for his remarks, please. Thank you so much. Um, everything was said, so I just want to thank uh, Prime Minister Modi for organizing this meeting and uh, President Biden for, for sharing this meeting with, uh, with him. Um, we, are, we are committed and we have several exchanges, exchanges uh, with my, my friends, Mohamed bin Zayed, and I want to thank you, Your Highness, and um, Mohamed bin Salman, Narendra Modi, and, um, on this very important project. So everything was, was said. So now, uh, with the uh, European Commission, we are the go um, European government, we, we commit to invest alongside with you on the road. And, um, and this is a very important project from Asia, through Middle East to Europe, to offer big opportunities and connect people. But our intention is as well to make it real and, uh, and to be sure that after this commitment we have complete results and especially to have the first global green trade road, meaning have net zero transport infrastructure. So to be sure that we have the best technology, we have hydrogen being part of this project and uh, we channel all the possible um, common developments. I think as well our intention is to have a fair process I mean, offering a lot of uh, opportunities to manufacture in the different countries and to cooperate very actively on building these roads, building the innovation going with it, and innovating together. I don't want to be longer. Thank you very much for this. Uh, this ceremony is very important. We commit together. Thank you, Excellency. Mm -hmm. May I now invite the Chancellor of Germany for his remarks, please. Thank you, and especially thank you, Narendra and Flo, for convening this uh, event here. I think it is very important to remember that we launched the Partnership for Global Infrastructure and Investment last year. And uh, since then, PGII contributes to closing the global investment gap in quality infrastructure. As Emmanuel Macron already said, most about this initiative and all the activities we speak about today are already is already set, so I will not repeat it, just mention any two questions. The first is we have to be active, but these things can happen, and this is for, uh, for me that we then have to also work on the uh, infrastructure, the, the, the institutions that can work on, on financing, and for this, I think it is also important uh, to work to make the work of, of the World Bank successful. Germany will contribute an additional 305 million euro of hybrid capital to the World Bank, and uh, this is one of the aspects which is uh, a side of the activity here. We also try to work with Africa, and the compact with Africa will convene in Berlin in November, also as a sign of creating infrastructure, developing economy, all the things we are together here. Thank you, Excellency. May I now invite the Prime Minister of Japan for his remarks, please. 